it's Adam and we're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum and how exciting is that? It's finally out. The project settings are something that you really need to look at anytime you've reinstalled Vegas or anytime you every now and then just give a good look at your project settings and make sure that your default project settings are good. One thing I will note is this new version does have better startup settings so it was missing a lot of progressive settings and that has been fixed finally so you did have to kind of custom create your settings. I usually do a lot of 4k but maybe you do a lot of 1080p but first thing you're gonna come up here and find a resolution that best matches your camera. Now if if you have an odd resolution or something, Vegas will auto match it the first time you drop it in and then hit yes to that auto match because you want this to match your primary project, what you want your final project to look like. If you do most of your stuff with a camera, you want it to match that camera and then your text and effects and pictures and everything else will follow suit. 4K video and I do 30p, that's 30 progressive, which is actually 29.97 frames per second. That's standard, that's a weight MP4. And code sting, that's a carryover from interlacing, but this is definitely a progressive field. So that works for me. Because of that, progressive scan, you don't need to worry about this upper or lower field first. That is if you have an interlaced codec. If you have an interlaced codec, you want to do the one that matches your codec. So this automatically picks the screen height and resolution with this template. If you make any changes to this stuff, you need to go ahead and save this. So I'm going to call this main because I am gonna make a change I'm not doing any 360 output right now with any 360 footage or any stereoscopic 3d stuff so I'm gonna leave this stuff off for now you can always change it per project when you need it on and you need to go to best because this every single render when you do it I'll show you in just a second every single render refers back to this with how to render it unless you manually change it on each one so go ahead and put this on best because I'm gonna guess most of the time you were okay with it taking a little bit longer to render for the video to look better overall if that's not your goal then select something less than that if your computer continues to crash or something on render you might need to look at upgrading your computer but until then you could probably kinda lower this quality but best is what you need to keep this on this is your final render quality not your preview window quality. And uh, the deinterlace method, method uh, leave it on blend fields. If you pull in footage that is interlaced, it will try to deinterlace that footage to match the progressive scan. This is a good way to do it. It'll kind of make the video look less interlaced. Now, uh, adjust source media to better match project settings. Go ahead and leave that selected because uh, if you have the right project settings, you do want everything to match it. You don't want to be fighting uh, different types of media for what one is going to dominate how the final video looks. And then go ahead and you can hit save up here. And then this, it says it's identical to? Oh, but I changed this to best. Yeah, well, we're going to hit save anyway. And then we're going to hit apply. And now we're going to move to audio and just take a quick look at this stereo is what you're typically working in that just means two speakers 5.1 surround sound is a whole different bear i have a video of that if you want to look at it uh 48 000, um hertz is a really good sample rate i'd go ahead and leave it on that that's what a lot of cameras take a sample rate to 16 gigs and audio resample quality i'm going to go ahead and change this to best again and I'm going to start all new projects with this setting. And the reason why is you want it to resample it with the most possible samples to rebuild the audio in the best quality it can be built. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that on best. And the ruler format is uh, is something you don't usually have to touch but I do want you to know if you're working on a music video you can actually change this to beats and you can do measures and beats right here and then you can actually change this to what your beats per minute are and how many beats you have in a measure if you know anything about music that should make perfect sense and then uh, you know what uh, what chord what note gets one beat this is just the starting signature of a musical piece and you set it to that and you can actually edit and mix to the beat so if you're doing audio mixing like you're mixing a band or you're actually making a music video you can make sure that everything is to the beat super easily because your timeline that changes these numbers down here we're gonna do time and frames and we're gonna start all new projects with the settings and summary this is something uh, that you can actually put to tag along in the metadata on every project I don't really fool with this but I want you to know it's here 
and then where do you put your recorded files when you record them uh, when you record audio files and things like that this goes to your default settings and your app data and your documents if you want to change that here's where to do it so that is how to set up your project settings in movie studio 17 platinum i hope you're enjoying the new version thanks for watching i got tons more tutorials coming out about this version and vegas pro and everything else thank you guys so much for watching like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more i'll see you next time